It is sad my favorite fencing student is leaving Verona Beach soon. Of course, you're more than just a student to me. But I'll miss our lessons. I'll come back soon. I don't know why we'd go back, like, the character would go back at this point. Well, I wonder, go back where, too? To mother. To mother, dear. She'll miss us dearly. She hasn't talked to us in a long time, actually. Yeah, I know. It's concerning. Okay, Eric go. kidnapped her. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> I stole the only thing important to you, to your mother. <laughs> we're like, uh, she was creepy. I hope so. They say distance makes the heart grow fonder. I prefer less painful methods, personally. Good thing I have some healing potions left over. Mm -hmm. Chocolate and wine. I'm so glad we still have time together before you go. Okay. Whoa, wait. Oh, that's the pocket thing. Ah! Oh, whoa, wait. Pocket is missing, and I found a pair of brass knuckles in my kitchen. Is this a threat? Did you take my cat hostage? The knuckles are your cat. Yep. <laughs> is it just a pair of them? That must be awkward dividing your body in two. Oh, what? Yeah. You haven't you thought of that? Go. Let's go up. I I don't know what that means. Wait, something's happening. Well, Pocket's back anyway. Uh, sorry for the accusation. I guess he was sleeping somewhere here. And now he wants to go out. I'll watch him. So, there. He's out. And looks like he's headed to the, for the museum. Have fun. <laughs> okay. I'm sick of grilled cheese sandwiches. I thought my plan was foolproof, but here I am. Approved fool. Oh, let's click something else. Yes! I'll be right there! Sawyer arrives a few minutes later. So, what are we cooking today, chef? I brought all of the, my leftover cheese. Mac Ooh. and cheese. Can we start doing fancy things with our mac and cheese, please? Yeah, I, I suppose you don't like the fact that I've just had peas and- I mean, the peas There was are the good. one time that and we put the fake meat- well, I mean, the I've vegetarian been, meat. I've been pushing for vegetarian meatballs because meatballs and mac is pretty good. But I had smoked mac and cheese recently, and it was worse. Well, it wasn't worse. It wasn't that great. But I, I feel admittedly, like, I just cook up Velveeta. Yeah, I feel like there's <laughs> there's so much potential Velveeta shells for oh oh. The last time we had Velveeta shells at the bottom of my bowl, there was one tube. Yeah. It one. was one tube from a normal craft mac and cheese. Yeah, one little bit of macaroni. <laughs> okay, but. Anyway, I know that there are, there are probably other ways to make mac and cheese. Whoa! Oh, brilliant! I knew I could count on you. I tried googling cheese recipes, but they had all these complex instructions. Uh... I even looked at a few for mac and cheese, but they required a a roux, a row. Hey, I've had to make a lot of roux recently, and I don't actually get the appeal of it. It's yeah. essentially just you're browning oil and flour in a skillet until it becomes this thick brown kind of burnt tasting sauce ah. and it's been required in a it was required in a curry recipe and it was required in oh it was like another uh like a gumbo or was it it was i think it was a gumbo so i i made that for those and I don't know maybe I'm not doing it right maybe I'm using the wrong oil maybe the wrong flour but it just adds a smokiness to everything that's a little bit sickening this is making me hungry oh sorry one of them had like 50 photos of a vacation to Austria for some reason I I really hate googling recipe books it's i keep buying recipe books to avoid all of those ads yep. and extra photos because if you guys don't know the reason why there are so many photographs and all of this all like paragraphs and paragraphs of information that the recipe bloggers put into the re the recipe itself before you even get down to the ingredients and instruction is so that you have to scroll past ads that's 
essentially the point of it. Yeah, that's how they make money. So that that's why Gosh. there's a lot of fluff in there, those articles. There was a period of time on the internet where everything was pure because advertising didn't make a whole lot of money and a lot of these people didn't figure figure out the formula. It was so nice. Nowadays, um, oh, I pressed a button. Why? I I think it's fine. I, I they didn't say too much after the whole thing. It's just it was just too much, you know. Yeah. That kind of thing. Well, I probably wanna... should have figured it out myself eventually, but I haven't really been sleeping. Too much stress. Yeah. Uh huh. You could say that. It's stressful having raccoons living in your dorm vents. What? Raccoons? Oh no. Well, and I guess summer finals are coming up soon too. And I'm starting to wonder about everything. It's not a warm, fuzzy feeling. Even if I get straight A's, am I wasting the peak years of my life going into debt? Ah. Uh, student loans and such. Uh, I mean, we're fortunate, I suppose, in that we our parents- We are spoiled as heck paid off our college education but yep. so many of my friends are still paying it off 10 years later yeah i mean at this point i we probably wouldn't be burdened by that but it's such an absolute racket and with the job market as it is yeah it's not guaranteed that college even gets you a job it's it's practically <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I think about it as kind of this like weird coercive slave labor where it's just like the system is kind of designed to keep students. Really? I just think the bar went up. Well, yeah. Because there's that. Back in our parents' generation, a having sizable a degree amount of got you places. Having a degree got you places, but people could still make a good living without one. Yeah. And but then it kind of became well, the I mean, so much the problem is just the fact that the uh you know, we've been... America and the world in general has been getting richer and richer, but only the richest of the rich. And so for everybody, I... Apparently, the to be in the 1%, you have to have $2 million. Mm -hmm. But then you think of people like Bezos... Uh -huh. With what, two hundred million or two hundred billion? Sorry, I I thought it was he was over a trillion. I don't think so, not yet. Really? I don't think I, so. I think so. But I mean, Amazon has that much money. Uh, yeah, Amazon. Ugh. 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 Bezos net worth hundred ninety one billion. But I somebody was sharing a TikTok. Oh, oh, Did really? Did you see the TikTok of the the dude with the uh the bar graph? Well, it wasn't a bar graph, but it was like bar graph paper. No. And he was oh, like, Oh, okay. were they just sectioning off how yeah. much it so was actually? Here's Bezos at the top with 200 billion. Here is the 1%. And it's like barely even into the first box. Mm -hmm. You know, here is the start of the 1%. And then at zero, he does like a little mark of like, here is probably you. And it's interesting because I I was watching documentaries about finances, specifically ones by, if this is still in the same episode, Robert Reich, but, or Reich? I'll have to I see have what no they idea. have it. But in any case, or back in the 50s and 60s and such, this is what, Wanda, are you looking? Yeah. This I, is kind I of what the, the wealth distribution kind of was. Yeah. Where I mean, back in the day, CEOs only made about 100 times the lowest paid workers, give or take. Right. And now it's like grossly beyond that. Right. So there was still people in the middle class and such, you know, they still had quite a bit of money. And, you know, that helped the economy because they had more buying power. But now no everybody's one. poor or in debt. But in any case, poor Sawyer is questioning. Let's go with what would you rather do? Well, their major... What was their major currently? History. Studying history. 
but uh, also uh, business? business a little bit of business yeah but they might be doing history primarily and business was just a class i don't know i would ask yeah what would they want yeah. to do what would you rather do no idea i've been excited about so many things and then none of them worked out i love playing video games but that doesn't mean i want to make them if I quit school, maybe I could do something to really change the world. Volunteer for the next mayor's election campaign, maybe. If I wait until after I graduate, I am being selfish while people suffer. But you're the coolest person I know, and you graduated college, so... What do you think? Would you make the same decisions if you could go back in time? Uh... It's one of those things where... I mean, I yeah. think the top one is the answer. Yeah, no one uh, can decide two, it really. for you. Because is the... Because the follow your heart is quit school. Finish what you start is finish school. Yeah, nobody can decide this for you. They really need to weigh all the pros and cons and really figure out what it is they want to do. Yeah. my pro I always struggle with this with, like, giving advice and whatnot. Because most of my advice is, like, don't do what I did. Because statistically, you're most likely to fail. Which sucks. Because, like, the only real applicable advice I ever have is work your ass off for what you believe in. Mm hmm And at the same time, there are people who do and... Still get nothing. Yeah. And it sucks. And even then, like, I mean, I've been burning out pretty hard over the last year. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. I think we're getting close to, like, we're talking about this earlier today. But, like, the first part of lockdown, I was kind of like, yeah, we're all kind of in this together. It'll I, be fine. I believe there, we, we initially thought, well, this is an opportunity for us to stay indoors and just play video games like we always do. Yeah. But and then, like, I I never really felt like I needed to take a day off. And then I've switched it up to taking, well, I'd say taking two days off. But we're still recording. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally have not actually taken a proper day off in forever. But it's fun to do so. Yeah, the problem is, like, I, I often think, like, okay, I have some free time. What do I want to do? I don't know. I want to record more. It's like... It's what happens when you turn your hobby into a job. <laughs> you end up kind of weirdly slave to your passion. And there, really, it's a balancing act of... Can you maintain your passion or your work and vice versa yeah. like, without... What's really happening with me is, and I'm sure you guys have noticed this listening to this series specifically and Garden Story is that really the answer is real life is starting to leak into my videos a bit more and it's all getting into this like weird blurry mess where it's just the thing but the thing is i really believe that video games like any other medium books oh, yeah. novels i, I mean movies, I, I television shows they I have messages owe video games for like how progressive i am generally and like open-minded i guess well it's one of those things where they they present to you with problems and obstacles and some of them you know it might be defeating an oppressive empire and in some it's just talking with a young college student trying to work out where they want to go in life mm -hmm. i think in a lot of cases especially for these games you're kind of being forced to empathize with somebody that i mean doesn't even exist really more the idea of somebody, which I think was even a, an even greater test of empathy. Well, the thing is, one thing I found powerful about video games is that with movies and books, you're watching someone or you're watching, listening, interpreting someone else's adventure. Whereas in games, you're partaking in it mm -hmm. and you're being presented with these options and these decisions. It really makes you evaluate what your values and actions would be. And I think that... In some cases, especially in games like these, it's a safe place for people to to explore themselves. Th yeah, 
through the medium of a video game. I guess. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I... No one can decide this for you, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know, but I don't know what I want either. Ex except I know I'm drawn to you. With your support, I feel I can do anything. This feels like the beginning of a codependent relationship. I, I mean... Haven't the majority of the relationships in this game been someone is struggling with something in their life and yeah. you've been helping I think them through part it? Part of the reason why I I also like I mean, I like Isaac to some degree because he just needed it you know, somebody to kind of lean on through a hard bit. But also Valeria because she very specifically is kind of dealing with her own problems to begin with. Well what, what she's is... just using us as a sounding board. But I don't really know. What is Valeria struggling with? Um because I don't think, uh, not uh, as much, really. Yeah, now that I think about it, she seems to have everything together. Sure, she has her exes to deal with. But, but it's not nearly as impactful as being disowned by your parent. Or in, in Seven's case, trying to determine whether or not he wants to yeah. leave this band situation and yeah. risk becoming a solo act. I mean, who knows? Maybe Valeria's final final cutscene is a little bit more impactful, but chances are she... I'm not going to say it has everything together in her head, but I think it's better than I think a lot of these other characters. I'm still curious about, like, Jonah and some other people, but... Well, yeah, Jonah we won't be able to interact with. I'll be honest, I'm not particularly interested in Sunder's problems. Nihilism frustrates me more than anything else. Well, Sunder is also a vampire. Yeah. I, I think part of... I know that this is common amongst vampires, and we'll discuss it when we actually talk with Sunder, but I think he mentioned that he was bored with life, and maybe that's why he's constantly trying out new things, being on the edge. But he's not, though. No? No, because he talks about not wanting to do stuff. Really? Yeah. Like he's the constant he he's the quintessential person that's laying on the floor being like I'm bored and you're like why don't you try like a new hobby? I don't want to. That sounds like work. Could you imagine being a vampire all the skills that you could accrue? Yeah. Like I would I would He could take up several crafting hobbies and Cuz become... if I was a vampire, I pretty much wouldn't have to ever worry about like money. Which sounds weird, but it's like, most of the reason why I even personally care about money at the moment is affording a house before I'm too old, and then saving up enough money so that I can... Have vacations and food. Yeah, have vacations and food, and not starve to death when I'm old. Because, mm. like, at some point, you know, I will probably not be able to work. And that's fine. You know, it, I should take a break at some point. I still think my version I, of a vacation, or a vacation, my version of retirement is going to be just like okay, well, doing everything at my own pace. We'll revisit the vampire thing when we get to Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though we should, fit, we should complete this with Swear. We've been okay. talking way too long over these. So I will say, Shell, can we just actually date these characters? I don't feel comfortable with dating Sawyer because Sawyer is a college student. Yeah, but like, I think our character is very much just like mid-20s. I yeah, it's still, still a little weird. I just also feel that in rela this relationship, there's a power imbalance. Yeah, because it's we true. are a mentor. I character. just it's so it was so awkward with Seven the whole kind of like because you can tell the game is even kind of breaking down where it's like, are you sure you don't want to romance them? Are you sure you don't want to romance them? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you don't want to romance them? I know. Okay, but you didn't romance them, and it's just like. Ugh. I, I need more platonic friend sims. Mm -hmm. well, okay. Eh. Even fight a boss battle, like making mac and cheese. Uh. I know I helped last time, but maybe this time I should just watch. Uh. I mean, if I touch it, I'll just ruin it. Nonsense. Be brave. Uh... Yep. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Sawyer beams with excitement. Fists clenched. Are they powered up? Yeah! Let's do this! 
Fuck yeah! You helped Sawyer follow the steps for a baked mac and cheese with breadcrumbs. No, you're right. Sawyer does kind of remind me of the freshman when I was a sophomore that I'm pretty sure had a crush on me, but I could be wrong. Uh, you, you had too many girls crushing on you. Which is weird, but I don't know. But yeah, there was definitely a odd power imbalance on that one. But I think it was mostly just the hygiene. <laughs> For goodness sake, Wander, stop, stop. In, okay. In any case, soon enough, you're eating the fruits or starches of your labor. <laughs> I love mac and cheese. So gooey. So comforting. Uh. We're out of mac, okay? <sighs> if I do make if I do make something, it will have to be with the copious amounts of vegan cheese. Mac and udon. No, 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 I have egg noodles. And I also have beet noodles. Mac and I also and have seaweed udon. noodles. Seaweed, macaroni, yeah, and we cheese. We got the udon noodles already <laughs> made up. Okay. This is actually better than restaurant food. How? You're like the best big brother ever. Whoa. See, yeah, this is a big, this right. is a big brother right, dynamic. Right. Plus, I just realized that we have leftovers for breakfast. This is the best. But it's getting a bit late. I should get some sleep before my exams tomorrow. Raccoons or not? Would you like to offer a gift? Yes. Do we have any more food? I... Not vodka. No, you're not... What is that book? Travel Guide. I feel like that would be insulting. Oh. Marsky and McQueen. Oh, don't they love Marsky and McQueen? Yep. Oh! Marsky and McQueen are so cool! How did you score tickets? Thank you. Um, so, um, I don't mean to be a burden or in the way. And I feel weird asking, but I can't help but thinking it would be so rad. <sighs> Can I sleep on your couch tonight, please? It It's okay to say no and change your mind. Really, uh, this isn't a bed and breakfast. I hope this doesn't lead to smooching, but, like... I hope... This it's just the couch situation. Not not a situation where they creep from the couch to your bed in the middle of the night. That would be problematic. Anyway, my couch is yours. Yay, you really are the best. I'll just snuggle down and not be a bother. Night night. You put a throw blanket over them, and they're snoring within moments. You go to bed. Good. In the morning, they're rushing, late for class. Big brother. Got a jet. Thanks again, chef. Bye. Sawyer's eyes shine with admiration. The door closes softly behind them. Sometimes I wish my brother was less competent. Wait, so he could actually be a good big brother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my brother and I have very much just, like, been equals since we were kids. Well, you so guys are things. only a year apart. 20 months. But yeah. Help! Urgent! What is... Sao Sao's other title besides Chancellor. Sao Sao? Yeah. From, uh... He's a famous Chinese warlord leader. Ah. Uh... Uh, Tale of the Three Kingdoms. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. Why? No time, please! Sao Sao's other title! Um... I mean... I think it's Emperor Wu of Wei, but I could be wrong. It's it's definitely one of the two on the bottom, obviously. Mm-hmm. This is the Grand Chancellor of the Han Dynasty. Yep, Wu of Wei, I was correct. Wu of Wei. Oh, there we go. Thanks! Ugh. <sighs> You feel a bit woozy and fatigued. A sudden... Oh no, you didn't get sick from Sawyer, did you? I mean, we might just be sick and then Sawyer has to make us food. That's oh. kind of like a... A... A test. Yeah. A sudden sneeze interrupts your thoughts. You wonder if you're getting sick. Boy, that has completely different connotations right now. 
Okay. Like, I have been petrified of getting sick for the last. Hey, hey! Since we haven't been going to anime and gaming conventions, yeah, we haven't gotten sick we in like two years. It's great. We haven't gotten sick in years. I would. No, always... you did have that weird, like one day temperature. Well, like, a couple weeks ago, but that was probably stress or something. Oh God! What the hell? Oh, oh! Let's and, hide that. And the and the other thing too was, there was that. No, that was before the pandemic where yeah. I lost my voice. Yeah. Well, I mean, it could have been COVID. What? No. But it's very unlikely. I mean, it was in the U.S. prior to it starting to, like, really rip through and people realize it. But the problem is testing it is really that, difficult. I think that was just because we were voice acting way too many games with high, high squeaky voices. Maybe, possibly. I just know there was uh, there were a number of people that, like, died of weird pneumonia. Uh, the fall of uh, mm -hmm. 2019 and people are thinking like yeah it might have actually been making its rounds earlier but it's kind of impossible to test at this point anyway oh no I knew that they were cheating on a test sorry about my last message I was in the middle of a test I, I shouldn't have had you to help me cheat even oh, cheat sorry even though your answer was right really sorry won't do it again in fact to make up for it Here's a pic of a cute dog I saw at the park. Ah! It's a horror monster. <laughs> a horror monster. Like, okay, let's look at that dog picture. It's... Ah! Ah! Is it supposed to be a... It's like a weird a pug? pug. It's a pug crossed with something else. It's drooling. Its eyes are bulging out of its orbits. Ah! Wait, wait, that's the only thing you could... How are you? Uh, no, no, you think you think you have a cold. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. No! Why Wander? Why did you do that? <laughs> the meme shell. Shell, this whole game is an exercise in the illusion of choice. There is no wrong answer. No, no. I just are... wanted to do the double emoji and it worked. Uh. I hope this isn't misinterpreted. Okay. You sniffle and cough. Your throat and nose feel raw and sensitive. Hi, No. Oh, no. Sawyer's going to get sick, too. Or Sawyer made you sick. Mm. Being with all those students in close proximity at school. We got the dog pox from Sawyer. <laughs> Sawyer arrives after a few minutes. Whoa. Whoa you look awful. Uh, I mean, uh... You definitely have a summer cold, but check this out. I don't know if you believe in stuff like this, but you must have a garden angel. Just this morning, I had the sudden urge to make chicken soup. Maybe I'm a telepath. I have had weird dreams. No, 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 Jojo. I'm just lucky. And the other two are just bad. Yeah. I'm just lucky. Yep. Well, maybe you're lucky because gods and telepaths are always looking out for you. I should probably take a class in probability. Oh well. Look, my crowning glory, chicken soup. A personal medicine for dudes coming cold. Especially healing for you, since the chicken is actually Satan. It's a special soup. <laughs> oh right, they remembered yep. that, that our character is vegan. Made with my secret ingredient, admiration, and MSG. Do we still have the fake chicken in the fridge or it's in the freezer? I think we have a lot of stuff in the freezer. As long as it's in the freezer, it's okay. I just keep panicking, thinking our stuff. Is, I had to like, use up all bad. of our tofu yeah. the other week, but it made it made tasty. It was things. good stuff. Okay, continue. I mean, I didn't know it was for you when I was cooking it, but I'm sure it still tastes good. Yum. Here, let me help. You get comfortable, and I'll take care of you. Sawyer pours two servings of soup and you sit down together. The soup is... Uh, unusual. There's a floral scent and the broth is... a... gray... blue... color? It'll cure what ails you one way or another. <laughs> As you dip in your spoon, the surface... wobbles. Okay, so it is... blue. It... Is this a... Do they put way too much 
like flour or solidify? <laughs> what could, or accidentally some gelatin? What's going on here? I, do they put, they put gelatin instead of bouillon in it, didn't they? <laughs> What's up with your expression? There's no way this is normal chicken soup. Yeah. Bon appetit! I bet you're gonna love the soup a la Sawyer. So what's in this exactly? Yeah. Oh! Uh, vegetables? Herbs? You know the deal. Like you taught me, I followed the recipe. I mean, I substituted seitan for chicken, like I said, but other than that I followed the recipe. Uh, mostly. Anyway, Come on, dig in. Eat the soup. You bring the spoon to your lips. The floral scent is stronger and slightly rotten. In a moment of bravery, you take a sip and swallow. Oh, oh no. well, that's kind of handy. It tastes fruity yet familiar. The texture is chewy. A warmth spreads from your belly. Watching you, Sawyer's face changes into fear and dismay. You feel as if a soft, golden light has wrapped itself around your shoulders. Ah. What's happening? You lose consciousness. Dude! Dude! You wake up feeling refreshed, energized. Sawyer's by your side. <sighs> oh my jeez! Are you okay? I'm so, so sorry. I feel amazing! You look amazing! You know how actors always have eyeliner on when they wake up? You look like that. Wow! But I, I found the problem. <laughs> Did they give you NyQuil? <laughs> I used cough syrup. In a chicken noodle soup? <laughs> <laughs> How the hell do you do that? <laughs> I've never heard of a chicken noodle. Like soup. what kind like, of ruinous of, universe I've never creates heard of that monstrosity? People using medicine. Oh in... shoot! I'm out of vegetable broth. Hmm. Let me just raid the medicine cabinet. Look, this is a liquid. That seems soupy enough for me. Pour it in. Woohoo! <laughs> I use cough syrup, like a lot of it. You realize that's why the soup tasted familiar. Cough syrup. You feel like gagging. Uh, you only had a spoonful, though. I thought I'd just add a fruity flavor. Uh, maybe some sweetness, like a blueberry syrup. <laughs> Chicken soup is supposed to be salty and... And savoring. What? Wander? Come on. <laughs> Continue. You wonder how to break through it to them that blueberry syrup would also not belong in chicken soup. I mean, maybe the syrup helped. You look much better than before. Uh, more alive. Maybe soup a la soya is actually a healing potion. Even more so than bubble tea. It also knocked me out. <laughs> hey, that was some serious healing sleep. Oh, say seriously healing sleep. I should make more and sell it. Though I'd have to stock up on more cough syrup or blueberries while they're in season. Anyway, now that you're awake, I should go study for my last final. But first, I got you a little gift. Uh, thank you for all the cooking lessons. You got headphones? Yep. If you don't have a use, uh, if you don't have to use them, but I thought you might have fun with headphones in the dunge. Thanks. <laughs> well, I'm sorry again that I asked you to cheat for me. I just got too worked up. Next time, I'll think of your disapproving face. That'll keep me on track. If you say so. I do. I want you to think of well of me, because I'm a telepath, remember? Anyway, you be good too. Enjoy the rest of the soup. Sawyer waves and closes the door softly behind them. 